Hey guys, welcome back. It's Alice. Today I'm going to be showing you a brand new video on how to record your iMac screen or your game, like CSGO for example, with background noise. What that means is if you're recording, let's say with any recording software, I'm going to be showing you guys with OBS. Let's say you're using OBS and you can't hear your op shots in your recording. Well, it's because I don't know, physics, something like that. But this basically shows you how to bypass that and how to actually capture that. So what you want to do is open these two links and you want to click download. Select your operating system. I'm going to be showing you guys on Mac, but if you're on Windows, there's probably another tutorial for that. But it's probably different. So that's download. That should come up on your desktop. Then you want to open this link. Scroll down right here. Click that. Just uh, whoops. Just gonna rename that Soundflower and click down. All right. So you want to open OBS first because with Soundflower you need to restart your computer. So you just want to go through this process. Type in your administrator's password. It's all good. And it should install. All right, successful. Close that, close that. Now you want to open your Soundflower one. We can delete this, just so we don't get confused. Double click that, continue, install. Oops. Okay. You may not need to restart your computer. I'm pretty sure you do, but I can be wrong. We'll have to see. does take a while to install. Alright, successful. So I can delete that as well. Empty the trash. Successful. So I can close these out and fully close Google Chrome. QuickTime Player is what I'm using to record. You can't hear any of the sound I have right now, but Anyway, so you want to open audio, MIDI or MIDI setup. Um, this should be already installed on your computer. But when it opens up, I'm using a sound card. So if you're not, and let's say you just have your, I don't know, just let's say you want to, let's say you want to use your built-in output. Uh, I wouldn't or built-in microphone. Let's say you want to use that. So you want to come down here, click create aggregate device and create multi-output device. So I'm just going to rename this input. I'm going to rename this output. So here you're going to see everything selected. Now, first you're going to select your microphone. So whether that's your built-in microphone or your USB device. I'm going to use this because that's the mic I'm using right now. Second, you're going to click Soundflower 2 channel. So it should come up something like this. Clock source should be that. Now, right-click that and click use for sound. Use this device for sound input. Now, I'm not going to do that because then you would have some trouble hearing me. It would just interrupt. But for the next one, it may already be selected. If it isn't, select your output, whether that's your, I don't know, your Astro A50s or your Beats. You want to check that box first. Then once again, you want to check the Soundflower 2. So then you're going to right click that and click play this device for sound output. Now, that should be all good. These icons, this would be in here. That would be down there. Also, you want to right click this one and click play alerts and sounds. That does not matter. So you want to close that. Then you want to open OBS. Oops. Now this should be fairly simple. It's somewhat complex, but hopefully we won't have much trouble. I agree. Now there are some settings you might want to check in this, but for the most part, it's simple. Settings. First of all, just yeah, go to your 
go to the dark theme. I think that's the best. Oops. Just makes it look nicer. Back into your settings. Go to audio. Now, either one, I do not matter, does not matter. Stereo. Now for the desktop audio device, you want this to be default. And for the mic auxiliary device, you want this to be input. Now, I can't do that right now, but if I were, it would be that rather simple. So I will give you a demo on how this sounds. All right, so as you can see, um, you can hear me, and you can also hear my CSGO sound if I be really quiet. Here, I'll mute my mic and then you can hear it. See, I have my uh, CSGO volume set very low. But honestly, I just turned it down a little recently. But if you were to turn it up, then you can hear it. So I have it running and stuff. So, yeah. Um, I may have screwed something up with the microphone. For mic slash aux, you want the properties. You want it your microphone. So either your built-in microphone or your USB audio device. And for the desktop audio, you want that to be default. So that I'll get this. Um. I don't normally record with OBS, but I might start doing it. But yeah, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. And if it helped you, be sure to like and subscribe. But other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.